today's Friday. It's day one of weekend one of Tomorrowland 2023. We're staying in Camp to Camp. We're going to the festival. We're going for breakfast and we'll take it with us. We got these vouchers in advance during the add-on sale and we bought for the three days. So we had breakfast Friday, Saturday, Sunday. On the first day, we exchanged the voucher. They gave us a bracelet that gives us access during the whole weekend. And it's pretty much a buffet service and you can serve yourselves as many times as you want. There's a solid mix of sweet and savory fruits and pastries, so it was almost a brunch. If you're hungry and you like food, there's a lot of places for you to sort yourself out. But if you're looking for the experience, Tomorrowland has Brasa, Mesa, and this year they have the new cocktail experience, the Papillon, and we're doing all of them. So we're going to see if they're actually worth it or not. So come with us. So this is the appetizer, there, which is like chicken tacos. This is pork, this is meat, this is sweet potato and, and cabbage, whatever. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Just finished lunch at Brasa and now we're gonna go to Mesa Garden to do the cocktail experience. on the website so we're just gonna find out with you what is this about and I'm thirsty so This experience was created by Matthew Chiru, which is one of the most famous taxologists in the world. And for this occasion, he made us put some headphones and he was speaking through a microphone direct into our headphones. The experience consisted of five different cocktails. So each cocktail represented one different continent. First one was Europe and it was a mocktail. Yep, it was that good. <laughs> the second one was Africa and it was kind of a fun favorite of the attendees. The cocktail also had an edible paper butterfly that was very interesting and it was also very tasty. For Oceania was my favorite, the Pearl of Tomorrow, which was actually a pastry created by Francois Dobinet in collaboration with Matthew Chilou. And it was just so tasty. I could have eaten 80 pearls, no problem. It was also served in a shell that was filled with vanilla sugar that also tasted amazing. 10 out of 10. My personal favorite cocktail was the one from Asia. I really enjoyed the taste. It was too easy to drink, to be honest. I really liked the presentation of it. I think the flavors were amazing, especially myself that I gravitate towards sweet things. And I tried shiso and I unlocked a new flavor. The last cocktail was from America. It was rum base. It tasted incredible and the presentation was beautiful. And they gave us a little gift to every one of us. It was the elixir of Ascendo, which was a cocktail as a gift. Experience 100 out of 10. Too, we did the Mesa Deluxe experience, which is also at the Tomorrowland May Stage restaurant, but it's in a separate area that is a bit quiet and some stables. When we arrived to the restaurant, they gave us the welcome cocktail that can be a cocktail or a mocktail, depending on the preference. We had the regular cocktail and it was insanely good. And when our table was ready, we sat down and they gave us the first round of appetizers. This was beetroot tzatziki, hope I'm saying this okay and Holstein Tonato. This next dish was a burnt scallop with ponzu and it tasted very well. You can see my dancing approval. It's an oyster chef without an actual soil stone. So the pearl is made of soil that's partly white and apple soil. And the juice is made from jeep, cucumber, kiwi, oyster leaf and seaweed. So it has a taste of an oyster without an actual oyster. Go, go, go. 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 Go
have a cut with the bird brown, and we have the uh, eggplant with marinated tomatoes and potato bravos. Perfect, thank Enjoy. you so much. era como más simpático de con la cara y cosita que se lo ves desde ya 